Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Today we're going to be installing a bidet uh, with all the toilet paper shortage and whatnot. It just seemed like a good time to do this. And uh, I've got a septic system, so also it's going to lessen the burden on the septic system. I uh, don't need too many tools to do this, just a pair of channel locks and a screwdriver mostly. Oh, I might not even need the channel locks, but it came with wrenches. Came with the toilet supply line, uh, which I won't need for mine, but uh, came with this deal, the union. Uh, a couple things I have going on is I wanted to make sure that uh, well, that seems really easy. Uh, my toilet supply line has kind of a funny deal that doesn't have a separation in the bottom portion. So what I wanted to do was make sure that the, the joint was here. Because this toilet shut off for a mobile home is a little bit different and it doesn't have us come apart here. So if the connection was here, I wouldn't be able to use that one. Um, this particular toilet, you hold this and you lift up to turn it off. There we go. And uh, if you had a regular angle stop you would just you know righty tighty to turn it off turn the water off just like a hose bib it's not rocket science but you know and then here we're just gonna lift up these two tabs to gain access to our toilet bolts this one give me a good chance to clean underneath there uh, this has teflon tape and the union now Oh, and this is the hose to connect to the back of the bidet. Okay. So, it's got these threaded on caps. So it looks like this part's going to go to the toilet. This is our old angle stop, and then this will be from the, the new angle stop. And the Gibby looks like Teflon tape. I'm not sure why. Because these are all compression fittings. So in theory, the Teflon tape would not be needed. Definitely well packaged here. Everything is nice. And got a manual here and register and get two years warranty plus five dollars off your next purchase. I actually don't think Teflon tape is needed. This is all compression fittings, so maybe just the one that they're fitting here. We get a tiny bit of water from the supply itself. And I think I'll start with the toilet seat. I'm just going to hold the, the bottom nut, untwist it off, and then we'll put the bidet in. There we go. There's the nut there. Take a quick photo of that or write it down. Right. 
thought it was better than my handwriting. I gave it See this pops down, it's like a, a guard gate, and you can open it for cleaning, so that's good. Alright. So there we go, and lift this up, this one has these pads.
however you need to. There's that. So this is the Glacier Bay dual flush toilet that I'm installing it on. Let's see how well it works. How does it sit? And it seems like the seat sits nice and flush. And the bidet is nice and centered, so that's good. Connect to the tank. Run it on by hand, make sure nothing's cross it. And then it's got these nice wrenches that it came with. After the install, I found it better to actually orient the 
supply to face forward instead of facing to the left like I have it here. So I'll show you at the end of the video, I wound up oriented that, that forward. I just didn't want if someone was following along and installing theirs, it's better to face the supply forward. I'm not familiar with at all. Sure, you don't get anything cross threaded. God, his hand tight now. setting off a little high all right ready to turn it on for mine you just squeeze this back down there it goes Fill cycle. make sure my hands dry and then feel for any leaks no leaks um, with this I just push these caps back down There it is. Now I read the reviews of someone that turned the uh, deal on while they were standing in front of it and they had a hard time because they needed to turn the water back off. Um, this, it could probably block the water and do that. Just for, for fun. But uh, first, make sure no leaks, nothing. Everything's tightened down, everything seats real good. It's good. So I'll just block this and hit it. Yep, it sprays up. And it can go higher pressure or lower pressure, but that's it. All right. It's pretty good. Let's see if I can show you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So obviously, only for testing purposes. I'm gonna do that. Make sure nothing's leaking with the field test, and nothing is, and it's all set. Today is installed. So 
bend you. And you can reposition it a little if you need to, but not bad. There we go. Done deal. Ready for use. And it doesn't do anything when you flush the toilet. It's only when you turn it on. And of course it's clean water coming from the water supply. It's not water coming from the tank or anything. There it is. The day is all solved. No leaks. Good to go. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Links are in the description below if you wanted to pick up the bidet. I think it will save on toilet paper use, especially good if you have a septic system. And this one worked good for a standard seat or an elongated toilet seat. So, it's a dandy. Yeah, there's a cable sticking out here. What we can do is rotate this around. Rotate it the whole time. And make sure there's no leaks. Alright, but that hides the cable a lot better. Yeah, nothing leaking. Good to go. I like that better. Done deal.